uh, just a lovely set and I, i i looked at the set i think i, I think i saw this in the exam been such a long time that i don't remember very clearly uh, if i be screaming at myself if i didn't try this because some of the answers just jump out for this one the sitter of a set and so the following table represents the addition of two six digit numbers given in the first and second rows while the sum was given in the third row in the representation each of the digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 has been coded with one letter among a b c d e f g h j k no i going till k with distinct letters representing distinct digits any time you have two six digit numbers adding up to a seven digit number it makes our life super easy with the first digit of the seven digit number has to be one think about it you're adding even 9999 with 9999 it's got to be one something 10000 plus 10000 is 20000 if you're adding two three three digit numbers to get a four digit number four digit number has to start with one two four digit numbers to get a five digit number five digit number has to start with one very simple rule or a is one so this is one one this is one this is one slew of ones and so that makes life simple delicious easy this is one so wonderful so one 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 f plus f is one f 000 works 11222433644855066277 none of that works or we've got f also we've just got two let- two letters but hey think about this we've got a giant portion of this grid completely filled because there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 a's and 1 2 3 4 f's so six digit six digit seven digit there are 19 of which we've got 10 we're more than half way through just cracking two letters but and those two just screamed at us and so there's one more here this should also be zero 1 plus 0 gives us something it cannot be the same they stand for distinct digits so that got to be one carried over here this is two wonderful this is as easy as it gets and so now a is one j is something j is something h plus h is an even number so if it had been a carry over it would become odd so there's no carry over so h plus h is not having a carry over h plus h ends in 0 or h plus h should have been 10 we have 5 plus 5 10 0 0 and a 1 carried over and so 1 plus 1 2 2 plus something should give us 1 with 1 carried over so this number is 9 we are practically through a is 1 f is 0 h is 5 B is nine, C is two. Okay. What does G plus K equal to? There's a one here. G plus K should be eleven. Right, so it is eleven. It could be two and nine, three and eight, four and seven, five and six. All four are possible right now, but maybe we can eliminate some straight away. C is two, so G and K cannot be two. H is five, so G and K cannot be five. So can we eliminate three, eight, four, seven also? Mm, I can. I'm not able to find a three, eight, and a four, seven. And so I'm just going step by step. This got filled everything out. This is nine, five, five, one J. Everything is good so far. So G plus K is eleven, so there'll be one carried over. One plus one is two. One plus J is G. we know that g and k are 3 8 and 4 7 2 9 and 5 6 have been ruled out already 3 8 and 4 7 so this could be 3 this could be 8 or it could be 8 and 3 4 7 7 4 if g were 3 the j would have to be 2 hang on hang on hang on wait a second j cannot be 2 because c is already 2 so this possibility is ruled out if g were 8 suppose we say g is 8 then we can say k is 3 and we can say j is 7 nothing is wrong here 
A837 works. G could be 4, in which case K would be 7. And J would be 3. This is also fine. And then no other, no other letter that is 7 or 3. Or G could be 7, in which case K would be 4. J would be 6. 6 is also not taken by anything. We have so far only nailed uh, 0, 1, 2, 5, 9. So the numbers that are remaining are 6, 7, 8, 3, 4. So 8, 3, 7 is possible. 4, 7, 3 is possible. 7, 4, 6 is possible. What was not possible was 3, 8, 2. So that we have eliminated. So all three are possible now. Brilliant. So this is not possible. 4, 3, 7 is possible. 8, 7, 3 is possible. 7, 6, 4 is possible. And we've got most of this. And we've got a couple of uh, three combinations for G, K, J. Let's go and answer this question. Which register of the Lester A represent A is 1? We've done this. First thing that we inferred. What does B represent? B is 9. Only then the carryover idea works. Again, a very easy question. 3, 4, 6, 7 cannot be represented by the letter D. And so, remember, we've got A is 1, F is 0, B is 9, C is 2. And so, we've got these four, 1, 0, 9, 2. Fine. And we've got H is 5. G, K, J is saying this could be 4, 7, 3. Or it could be 8, 3, 7. Or it could be 7, 4, 6. Wonderful. Which among the digits 3, 4, 6 and 7 cannot be represented by the letter D? Right? So think about this. In all of these sequences, here, here and here, what features for sure, that means G, K, J has to be one of those three. The other letter D cannot be that number. 7 sits here, here and here. Or 7 is not equal to D. D cannot be 7. D could be 3, in which case G, K, J could be this. D could be 4, in which case G, K, J could be this. D could be 6, in which case G, K, J could be this or this. But D cannot be 7. One of G, K or J has to be 7 or the answer is 7. Which among the following digits 4, 6, 7, 8 cannot be represented by the letter G? We had 4 and 7, 7, 4. We had 3, 8, 8, 3. 6 is not even possible. If this were 6, this has to be 5. H is 5. So K cannot be 5. G cannot be 6. 6 is the answer. G cannot be 6. So 6 it is not possible for it to be 6.